Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be looking at the parts of a stereo microscope. Here we have two examples of stereo microscopes. Uh, there's a newer version. Uh, this one's fairly fancy in that it actually has a camera housing, so there's a camera built into a digital camera uh, with a USB port. You can plug that into your computer and take pictures or video of what you're doing. Um, whereas this is an older model, slightly less fancy, but it still works quite well. What they have in common is that the base, same basic structural features are here. There's a base. On the base we have um, a stage. The stage does have stage clips, though those aren't frequently used because in many cases we're dealing with three-dimensional objects up here on the stage and so using the stage clips may not actually be practical. Okay. Um, now just above the stage what we have are objective lenses so you may not really believe this but there's an objective lens in here and also in here. There's also a light source visible here. There's a built-in light source which I can control using a knob here. Okay, So you can see here I can put a three-dimensional object under this stage and I can light it up and so what's going to happen is the light is going to be reflected off my hand and go up into this objective lens and be magnified and I will see a much larger version of it up here through the ocular lenses. Okay, So um, well, we have other components on this microscope. We have a focusing knob so again just like with a compound like microscope we do have a comp uh, focusing knob but there's only a coarse focus there is no fine focus here simply because the magnification that we're dealing with here is much, much lower compared to a compound light microscope. Uh, this is a magnification adjustment knob over here and on this side as well. And you can actually see the numbers on here. Uh, now this newer microscope actually allows you to have a continuous sort of change in magnification. So the numbers here kind of start out at 0 .0, uh, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 1, 1.5, 2, 3, 4, and 4.5. So the objective lens magnification is not very high and again that will be multiplied by the ocular lens magnification which is 10x. Okay, So we're looking at about a 45 times magnification in total at the highest magnification for this versus a 1000x magnification for a typical compound light microscope. Okay, So magnification is much lower which is why you don't need a fine focus knob here. You just have a coarse focus and again you have an adjustment knob here that will adjust your magnification from the objective lens over here. Now, this old microscope can actually show you that there are, in fact, more than just one lens. So I'm going to just pop out this stage here and we'll look at this from underneath. And so we can see here, we, in fact, have two sets of lenses. So when I use this adjustment knob, you can see that this, these lenses change. They rotate. So you actually have two different magnifications that are available to you on this older scope. Again, the newer microscope has a bit of a more fancy sort of system of lenses in place where you have a continuous focus, uh, continuous change in magnification. As you turn this, you can increase your magnification or decrease your magnification as you wish. Okay, But again, magnification here is not very high with the stereo microscopes compared to a compound light microscope. Okay, So hopefully this has been helpful. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.